Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review Twitter. You can look at this chart here and see what happened. Well, it gapped down. Actually, this was a beautiful bearish gap yesterday and Thursday. It was a short. I called this amazingly well on Thursday. Held the stop within five cents and then broke. Never went back and looked below this. Look, it went to 1960 yesterday. Wow. Anyways, today, it really didn't do anything at all. Traded up, didn't go anywhere, traded down. The one thing that I loved about this yesterday was I thought absolutely no one is going to buy this today. That was my thinking on this yesterday to short it. But you can see here the gap up that it had, which you could have gone long in here on 923. This was a news generated type of thing. I don't even know what made the gap yesterday. It doesn't even matter. Probably was another news thing. But the point is that this overall chart is in a downtrend. So this is not a great buy. People here are wondering, there's speculation. Is someone going to buy Twitter? What's going to happen? Nobody knows, okay? The thing is, if you buy a stock like this, that is currently in a downtrend, you are going against the institutional money that is in this right now, which is not bullish. Now, will the stock rally through today's close, which was around 1986? If the stock gets bought, will it rally if something happens? If there's another news thing, maybe it could be another news thing that nothing really happens yet. But another news, more speculation, something's going to happen, somebody's going to buy it. Sure, that could possibly create a gap up. But that you don't know. You can't predict. And that's the thing about this. That's the thing. It's You can't predict on something like that unless you have insider information if indeed it's going to get bought. What if it doesn't? What if it doesn't? What if it does and it doesn't happen for several weeks or months and it trades down all the way down into here and, and if you bought it today, you're down into here until it flips around. So you have to be very, very careful. I mean, you know, there are people that probably held through the longs in here from the news that happened back here that was created on the gap up here. There are probably people that held through that position, truly believing that the stock is really going to go higher and really going to get bought and could explode up to some crazy number like, like what was the LinkedIn? Let me just look at that. while ago now when this did this here see that's what happened with this one here low in here was 139d and then look what it did open on this day then 194.29 so do things like that sometimes happen of course of course they do but you don't know you don't know until it does so that's the thing it's this is real real speculation when you're buying something rumored because you don't know the timing you don't know if it's going to happen you have absolutely no idea the price or anything else what if it doesn't happen it could collapse and fall off a cliff i mean there's so many variables here so i wait until the gap happens rate the gap based on my 26 point rating system and play it it could be a bullish gap it could be a bearish gap but i wait until the event has occurred okay and that's what i do and then I put my money based on my conviction in my gap rating method on the 26 points. I think that is a, a, you know, anything you do in the stock market obviously is speculation because, you know, you never know until the stock actually opens and you take the trade and you've got the money booked exactly if you're right or wrong or how much money you have based on what happens. You can go back in time and say this, that, and the other. You don't know until you're in the trade, have booked the money, and you're out. But when I do my thing, when I rate my gap, you know, to me, I have a lot of conviction when I decide to take a trade and it's based on a strategy. This is pure speculation here to buy something based on, you know, a rumored news event. Could it pay off in a huge way? Yes. Is this something that I, I think people should do all the time? No. And even if people want to do it, they should do it of a very tiny, tiny baby small size. Because the exact opposite thing could happen, of course. You know, people are thinking something's going to happen on this. What if it doesn't? It did close today at 1985. That was still a higher price than it was back out here a month ago. So, you know, 
don't think that this couldn't absolutely fall off a cliff and collapse if in fact nothing happens with this and drop all the way down to 15 or 14 or $10. So anything's possible, very speculative. So be careful, be careful with this. Good luck everyone, have a great weekend. For more information to learn my Golden Gap rating system, you can learn it in the Golden Gap course. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day everyone.